Hello everybody, it's me Laura again, and today I'd like to warmly welcome you to my updated World of Warcraft mount collection. So in this video today, I will be going through my updated mount collection as I softly speak about each of the mounts. So feel free to sit back and relax as I go through the mounts. This video today was sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends. So if you haven't already heard about Raid Shadow Legends, it is a free to play dark fantasy themed RPG game you can play right now and download for your PC or mobile. Raid Shadow Legends has 16 factions of different characters and champions to help you through the campaign, quests, and arena of the game. These include High Elves, Dark Elves, Undead, Dwarves, you name it, there will be a faction suited to your preference. My favourite faction has to be the Dark Elves. In particular, some of my favourite champions from this faction include Queen Eva and Madame Ceres. I love Queen Eva's style and broad wings, and I love the style of Madame Ceres. She's incredibly unique looking with her broad witch's hat, her long green scepter, and the bats that go around her. I just really, really love the style of Madame Ceres in particular. So the link to Raid Shadow Legends will be in the description below. So, I really like Raid Shadow Legends for a lot of reasons, but one of the reasons I love Raid Shadow Legends is that you can just pick up the game on the go, do a few quests, do a couple of dungeon bosses, and put it down and come back to it whenever you please. I also love Raid Shadow Legends because it is really smooth gameplay and it has years of content behind it so you'll never get bored with playing Raid Shadow Legends. So last month, Raid released their biggest ever update. The main event being the Doom Tower. It's a giant tower with 120 floors so it's going to keep you busy. It has a bunch of secret challenge rooms, 12 really badass and cool bosses to take on. There's really never been a better time to start playing Raid Shadow Legends. And the best part on top of all of that is that the Raid team are giving away a bunch of free goodies and rewards. Plus a super special champion to help everyone get started in the Doom Tower, Bulwark. He's absolutely awesome in Clan Boss. He's also going to be a huge help in the Doom Tower against those really badass and cool bosses. If you want to get a huge head start in Raid, all you have to do is hit the link in the description, and if you're a new player, you'll get your free Void Champion Bulwark, 50 gems, an XP booster, some energy refills, and even an Ancient Shard as soon as you get in game. So you're really going to get a lot of cool rewards and help to help you against the Doom Tower bosses. So you'll find all of these rewards and more in game right now under the rewards tab right here. And you can also find me in game under the name Lemurex, L E M U R E X. And if you're quick, you can join my clan. So to play right now for mobile or PC, you can find the link to Ray Shadow Legends in the description below. So before we have a look at my updated mode collection, I just wanted to briefly show you my updated transmog for my Fire Mage. So I went back and added the pretty typical fellow Felmalorn um, agent artifact for my offhand and weapon. And I decided on this lovely red crown that I think I got during BFA. So, I am currently in Legion, specifically Surma. I 
think I think I think I'm in Saruma. Yeah, okay. And there's New Talaran up there. Okay. So my collection currently stands at four hundred and two mounts. And I just got the three hundred and fifty mount no stable big enough achievement. So I am really, really happy about that. I actually got that achievement at the exact same time that I got the 300 toy achievement and I've been thinking recently if anyone else has ever done that before, I don't know, let me know if you know anyone that has. So my 300th toy triggered the achievement for my 350th mount which also subsequently became my 400th mount. I don't know why, I just, I was in um, a specific mood to collect toys for about a week, and that's what I ended up doing. So as you can see here, I have 402 mounts now. And this is the mount that you get for your 350 mount achievement. There is one more mount after this, and that is the 400 mount achievement, which is the green chicken. So... This mount is really, really cool, including the mount special where he just sort of throws his head right back up to himself. I think that's really, really cool. And I really, really like this overall. I've been trying for the green and red Nighthold mounts now for over 135 attempts, and I've only ever seen, in all the groups that I've been in, one red um, mythic cooldown mount drop. I've never seen a green mount drop ever, so it's actually the same with Shackled Ozil from the Antorus raid. I've uh, run that a whole bunch of times, but unfortunately I've never seen that drop for anybody either, and normally the groups are much larger, so I think Gmod drop more than that. So hopefully one day I might get that one. I think Shackled Ozil is probably my like, next favourite mount. Um, sometimes it comes up on the Black Market Auction House, but I don't think I'm gonna pay that much. The only mount that I think I'm ever gonna get from the Black Market Auction House has to be the Plagued Prototype. It's absolutely beautiful. It's definitely one of my favourite mounts of all time, and I love seeing people on it. And I would love that mount, so I think I'll be saving for that so this one is really really cool i just love that it gave me an opportunity to actually have a mythic cooldown mount or just a night hold mount in general and it's in this really really beautiful blue and this is again the mount that you get for getting 350 mounts available on a single character but yeah this one's really really cool I chose um, Suruma today because, I don't know, I just quite liked the lighting and it's very quiet here. I don't think there'll be any disturbance. So, I've actually forgotten the name of the 300 um, toys mount. I'm thinking if you search Sky Call it might come up. No, it's the green version of that. I'm sure if I keep scrolling, we will find it. So, a really fun mount that I wanted to show you is this one. This is, I think, the Arboreal Gulper. This one is really, really cool. This is super easy to get. This is probably going to be one of the first mounts you ever get from Well Shadowlands. You simply need to find an unusually large mushroom in Arterweald, and then you go to the spawn point and you fight Humongous. And you get this lovely mount. Isn't it beautiful? I love all the detailing on it, but I will say it's not my favourite. I love the textured edition on the back here, and I love the colour of the mat itself, but I'm not too keen on the armour on the front. I know that's quite representative in general of the armour in Autumn Yield in general, but it's not really my thing. I have been wanting to get, however, the frogs from BFA. There was a yellow one, a green one, and some other colour, and I've been wanting those. And I think I might get 
either the green or the yellow one. Those are very expensive though, those are 333,000 gold each, which is quite a lot of gold. But he's really really cute, and I really love the way he runs. I think he's really 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 cute. It's nice to have a frog mount on the game. Okay, so let's have a look through some of the mounts. So, just after I had recorded my last mount achievement video, the Hallow's End event had begun or was in the middle of going on. And the Headless Horseman mount actually dropped for me. I'm so happy about this. I have a tier set on my hunter that I think this goes really really well with. I have been trying for the old Korra version of this for a really long time and I still try about at least once a week but normally two to three times a week on different characters. So I was really really happy when this one dropped. This one flies. I'll show you a little bit and it leaves this beautiful trail behind. And it's just got so much interesting character to it. I really love that. I also really love this area in general. Then again, Legion is my favourite expansion, so. So, that was the Headless Horseman mount. I feel very lucky and grateful to have had this mount drop. It's quite funny because when I was doing the Hallows End event, and I was doing the uh, dungeon to have a chance at the mount. It's funny because I think I got everything but the plate cosmetic helm. I think I got it on my warlock at one point, but I never got it on a plate class that I have. So I find it quite funny that I have the mount, but I don't have the helm to transmog at least. But this one is really, really beautiful. I like all the horse mounts in the game in general, and I like the really little details in its eyes, and I love the flames coming off of its legs. Okay, so let's have a look at some other mounts that I got. I ended up buying the stallions and all of the horses in BFA that were 10,000 gold each, and that's because I just really wanted to help boost up my mounts because I was really struggling to find um, mounts that would be able to accumulate the score to 350 or 400. I did get, however, the Azure Drake that I was talking about in the last video. It did eventually drop. I'm really, really happy about this. Um, I think I've had the Blue Drake drop from there now about four or five times, and I finally got the Azure Drake. This one's a little bit different to the blue drake because it does have some armor details on the back. So my presumption is, is that this one is a little bit rarer than the blue drake. But I also think it looks just a little bit better too. I think it has these details on the side that the um, blue drake does not. So let's head to some more recent mounts. If I go to sources and then I go to... Oh, they don't have um, a checkbox for certain expansions. Hmm. Okay. So... Let's look. Okay, here we go. So this is from Warbringer Markoric. In Maldraxxus, this has about a 2% chance of dropping. This is a piggly skin from Draenor, but Maldraxxus definitely has the best mounts by far in Shadowlands. They are all bone related and they're very black and white, which is my style, definitely. Um, I love the blue details in its eyes, and I was just really, really happy that this one dropped. I was a little bit disappointed to find out that Nerissa drops basically the same mount. Um, I don't have that one yet. But this is my first and only 
red rock mount that I've gotten so far from Shadowlands, um, but I'm really happy with it. Next, I would really really like the Geiger mount, which is the bone reskin of the traditional flying mount. I mean, it still flies, but this, but in um, bone version. This one's still so good. This one is worth putting in the time in for, I think. Okay. So I did also get the double-headed mount from Maltraxxus 2 because I was trying to improve my skinning skill and get a bunch of hides whilst at the same time um, killing those little two-headed dragon things to get an egg. Here it is. A callow flayed wing. Not very good with the names of these so far. It is still relatively new. So this is the two-headed mount, which is based off of the skin of the Ashenvale Chimera and a whole bunch of other ones. They have four of these now. They have the honored one in the shop, and they have the red one from Draenor Pathfinder, and they have the purple one from Darkshaw. So I have all of them minus the in-game shop one now. So you get this one from killing um, in definite amount of small two-headed dragons in Andraxxus in a very specific area and they have a chance of dropping an egg. Now thankfully, unlike a lot of the legion mounts that have a chance of dropping a mount out of the egg, this one was guaranteed. Except I think the drop rate is much lower to actually get the egg. This took me 638 attempts at the neck. 650, something like that. It took a very, very long time. But as mentioned, I really, really love the bone mounts on this game. So, to me, it was not even a problem to try for it in any... in any matter at all. So, I ended up actually getting a 207 BOE as well. So I sold that, made some money, so um, I think the work for it was worth it for that reason. So I'm going to be scrolling down now and having a look at some others. Ah, here we go, here's another one. So I actually completed all of my Dark Shore, Dark, Shore, Dark Moon Fair mounts, and I actually ended up getting the Dark Moon Dirigible. I personally really love this one. This one is kind of one of those love it or hated sort of mounts. Um, I love it. There's really not too many mounts like this. I think there might be a, a horde mount similar to this, but nothing that I'm aware of for the Alliance. Um, anybody can get this, but it is takes at least months to get this because you have to accumulate 1,000 Dark Moon prize tickets. You can also buy price ticket books off of the black market auction house, but that costs a lot of money. So if you're willing to put the time in and do the pet battles and the dailies every day, you can also get this mount too. So that is the Dark Moon Dirigible. I love when Dark Moon comes up every month, I always take advantage of it, whether it's leveling my characters, but mostly to either get toys Earn mounts, which I now don't have to do because there was only four mounts and I have all of them. And I mostly use it for reputation building because right now I think I'm on 70 or 80, 76 um, exalted reputation. So I like to use Dark to help get my other reputations up to exalted. I don't think, however, I'm going to be doing Insane in the Membrane. That just seems like not my thing. I think what I'll do instead is replace the Exalted Reputations with those factions and just replace it with the Shadowlands ones because those ones are not as stressful to do. So I was quite happy with this. I love this one so much. I also recently got I also recently got the Mr. Smite toy to make yourself much larger, 
and I also have the vital drinking problem, so I love making my notes huge. That's just a thing I love doing myself. Let's have a look. And see what poems we have. I think one of my most recent ones was this one, but it wasn't that it was similar. It was it was that it was this one actually. So I'm currently in the middle of doing the Argent tournament in Ice Cream. I'm on the final faction, which is Iron Forge, but I got this one from working with um the Draenei or Exodar. And this is just another reskin of the pretty Alec on the game. Um this was cheap, pretty easy to get. You just do the Argent Tournament, represent the Exodar faction, and you can get it. There's something glowing next to me. I'm still trying to somehow scout the toy mount. I'll remember it. I just, it doesn't, it's not coming to me right now. So I did have the Jade Pride Morio Dire Horn. However, recently, just from flying around Pandaria and getting those toys, which I find is probably one of the quickest and most effective ways to get to 300 toys, is just flying around Pandaria, killing the rares at some terrible hour of the day, and then you'll accumulate lots of toys really, really quickly. Um, another way I found to get more toys quickly is having an inn in your garrison in Draenor. And then every day, pretty much someone will offer you a toy for doing something very basic. So, anyway, this next mount that I have to show you is the Slate Primordial Dire Horn. This is definitely not as nice as the Jade one because it is this beautiful, vibrant green with red eyes, but it's part of the collection. And now I only have one Dire Horn left to get in that regard, and that is the Amber. Primordial Dire Horn. So as you can see, this has a very, very similar um, mount special style as to the oars and mounts like that on the game. So very similar. So another mount I actually got this year. I actually have to thank my husband for this one because I have been trying for this mount since last year, or well, I guess a year and a bit ago now, 2021, but um, I have been trying to loot the Minion of Grumpus from the Christmas Winter Vale event um, for a long time now, and my husband just so happened to get it whilst he was running through it, and he was kind enough to give me it, so I'm very, very grateful for that. I decided that if I wasn't going to get it this year, that I was going to buy it from the auction house if it was under 100,000 gold. However, on my server, someone bought out all of them and then put them up at the price of 250,000 gold. So, that was not fun. Uh, so, yeah. Um, it's a really, really cool mount. There's really not a lot of mounts that like this. It has the, um, I think, Craghorn Chasm Leaper style to it with its build like pound fist, things like that, but nothing has a face like this. Um, it's a minion of Grumpus because Grumpus himself is a much larger version of this, but he's really really cool. Just a really big mean gorilla. So I'm really happy. Let's have a look and see if we can attempt to find that man. If I have a look up here and I just search, I mean toys. Remember to share. There we go. The mechanized lumber extractor. Wow, you only get a pet with 400 toys. That's no fun. <laughs> so there you go. Mechanized. The mechanized lumber extractor. I wanted this mount for so long now because I... I felt like owning it, and I didn't really want to buy the Sky Golem. Um, I love this mount, 
it has the goblin face to it and it's bright green and as mentioned before you can get this mount by collecting 300 toys in the game i will say um it took a lot more thorough thinking research and work to accumulate 300 toys than it did to get 350 mounts um i just i didn't even know the first place to start but if you're looking to do this i would highly suggest having your Drano garrison and pandaria res as well as Drano res Drano's, Drano res drop quite a few um and also the three um the three bosses at the right of Tinan jungle all have, all have boes so that's something um didn't really feel like buying any toys to accumulate this because i felt like i could do it myself but this one is so so cool there's something about this that reminds me of i've forgotten his name the guy from crash bandicoot that has the stuff on his back it reminds me of him i think it's like orange hair and pink skin but that is what that reminds me of but this has so much going on with it i love it so much it is one of those wavy mounts again though so it can be slightly um nauseating to constantly watch it but it's great some running mount and i think that's what i'll be using it for but it has so much going on with the blades on the back and functioning in the engine at the top there it's a really mean fierce mount and it suits goblins so well i feel like this might be a mount that would also suit warlocks very well because they always have bright green coming off of them i did end up getting a couple more shadowlands mounts but nothing rare just things that were like a hundred percent um i will say as a celebration there you go the other one's blue as a celebration to getting to 398 months, my husband bought me Squeakers, which is the one exception in the in-game store of mounts that I absolutely adore. Squeakers is an in-game store mount, and it's a tiny little mount, and it represents the year of the rat, I believe and has these tiny, tiny little wings and it's very nimble and little. I really like little mounts because they're a lot easier to get around with. And for my 398th mount achievement, my husband got me this. So I really, really love it. And I'm really thankful for that because it's just, it's such a fun, quirky mount. And I love it so much. You have a good look at him. He's very sweet and very innocent. And he does have a unique mount special which is always a bonus. He just flies in the sky. It's just, it's so cute. This is perfect for gnomes, mecha gnomes. I love it. I love it so, so much. I don't really like a lot of in-game shop mounts because honestly, they're nice to look at for a couple minutes and then you probably won't use them. Like the alabaster mounts but this one is great super nimble super cute love it really really love this one so i also ended up buying as i mentioned just a couple of the cheaper mounts just to sort of help you know boost my mount collection and ended up buying the uh, waste wonder sky terror this was twenty four thousand gold wasn't too expensive so i found like it was worth it so the mounts that I'm currently working on, as always, I'm trying to get the Nighthold mounts. I'm working on Shackled Vizzle in the RNG from Antorus. I am also hoping to get the Geiger mount from Maldraxxus. And I've been eyeing up buying the Green Wolf from Ardenweald. And I really, really love the Moth. I'll have to get that. So I am now 48 mounts on a single use character away from the 400 mount achievement and i'm really excited about that and oh i'm also working on the dragon soul mounts too 
hopefully we'll get those soon or any of them um it's just funny how rng works you can end up getting the rarest things or end up getting nothing it's just funny how it works i did also get the um document version of this i wish i could find that here it is i'll show this one this one's 180 price tickets so this will probably take you about a month-ish if you did everything maybe a month and a bit to get this one and there's also the dark moon dancing bear i don't think i showed that in the last video i think i'll show it in this one but yeah i'm working on um the argent tournament mounts i think i have eight ish mounts left there so that will help accumulate and i keep thinking how i'm gonna get there um but shadowlands has opened up a whole different avenue of getting mounts now i really hope that they actually open up being able to solo mythic bfa dungeons because i would love to get one of those i was asked a lot in the last video if i have any of those i don't i have seen everybody in a freehold run at some point get shark bait but what are they meant to be for me i've also seen one person get the krog mount one person get the raptor mount no, you know what I have it. Um, but yeah, this one's really. This is the prettiest out of the like featherless chickens. It has this really beautiful, soft, delicate green that goes down it, and it's a really pretty purple. My at least my favorite shade of purple. And then when I reach, um the 400 mount achievement or 450 mounts i will make my next updated mount collection video they haven't actually introduced as of this video any other mount achievement which is quite surprising because lots of people have like 690 700 mounts at this point so you think that maybe they would have introduced a 450 mount achievement at this point maybe they're aiming for a certain goal of people to get that achievement before they introduce it i don't know but i'll make a video when i get that because i'll get them i just don't know how i'm gonna get these last 48 months i say that every time um i think i said that when i had like 150 months and i said i don't know how i'm ever going to get the blue light hold mount and then you got it so if you're working towards it just stick with it you'll get it this one's really really cute i think this is the only mount on the game that dances so this is also something you can buy with your price tickets from dark moon and he dances really really sweet really really cute i love that super friendly mount such a really cheerful mount um i'm trying to think now i got all the dark shore mounts um i'm missing a couple of um time walking mounts time walking is so painful to get through um i think that's it let's see if i can find just one more mount to show before i head off that's pretty i love all the primal um Dire Horns and the Primordial Dire Horns. I didn't realize they had two different names, now I look at it. Let's see. I have terrible memory because I completely forgot what I showed in the last video. Um. show off raven lord i don't think i showed off raven lord so raven lord is a really really cool mount that comes from shatra it's been kind of a while now i've actually forgotten the name of the dungeon that i ran so this took about i could be wrong but a hundred ish attempts to get this one this is the raven lord and this is this is hanzu isn't it yeah, this is an Obsethic Calls on Heroic. I made the really um, silly mistake when I first started mount running 
I was running for Anzu on Sathe Calls, and I was running for the Blue Proto Drake in Utgard Pinnacle, and I didn't realize that you can only get those mounts on Heroic, so I wasted like 20 runs doing that. You live and learn. So I love this one so, so much. Um, I love all of these style mounts, and it's actually really interesting to see how far they've come, because this mount is this mount, just with several years between the two. It's really funny, you can actually see how much they've updated it and how far they've come. And I think it's a really, really lovely mount. This one's a very timeless one, I think. Same with this one. This one's timeless too. I kind of gave up on Mimron's head, just because I really don't like running all the at all, but I'm sure I'll get back into it. I also don't really like the mount inherently, um, but yeah, I'll keep running it. I got this one. I keep, I keep saying I'm gonna wrap this up, I just, I just really love, like, making these videos. Um, it's, this, it's this one, yeah. Sure yep, this is the Shimmer Mist runner. This is really, really pretty. Really simple mount to get. This is from Misfail Tangle. I think this is the one where you literally you go down and you kill a rare. It's not even rare, I don't think. And then you just click on the mount and then you get it. One thing I really, really like about Shadowlands is that they introduced non- intimidating ways to claim mounts, so there are plenty that you just get from random looting and ones from just doing very simple tasks and that's really really good to encourage people to explore mounts on the game and actually know that you can be rewarded for a mount without having to try 500 times or put down you know 300,000 gold so I'm really happy that those types of mounts exist in the game to really encourage people to know that they also can have a chance at something really cool. So, last mount, I promise, um, is the Spine Wall Glade Chewer. This comes from Gorte Matizo in Ardenweald. So, I read online a little bit after I sort of got settled into Shadowlands a bit more about the mounts, because I didn't want to learn about them right away. I wanted to play the game first, and then see what mounts I could try for. So this comes from Ardenweald, and this comes from you killing a bunch of mobs, um, I think in Turner, Turner Scythe, I think, yeah. and then one of them announces and calls for a rare to show up, and then you kill that, and then you get Gorte Matizza. I don't know the rarity of the drop rate of this one, um, or how long it takes for them to actually announce for the Gorte to show up, to kill it. Um, this is 100% though, if you do ha happen to end up getting the rare to spawn, you will get this man immediately. I was really lucky though, because I think I killed two mobs, literally just two, um, so I'm really, really, really lucky with that one. Really interesting mount, um, this constantly reminds me of skinning though, honestly, because that's how I make a large part of my money right now is skinning and for anybody that wants to make a little bit of money in WoW that maybe is struggling to, I would highly suggest getting onto the tail end now of disenchanting or getting into skinning. If you definitely helps if you have like a tank character or a group of you for skinning because that can make the process really quick. But yeah, really really happy that I got this one. Because it's really interesting, it's a bit different to the rest of the mounts. So that is my updated WoW mount collection. Thank you so much for watching this video today. Take care everybody. Goodbye.